Same arm, lift it up, stretch, then drop your shoulder and bring it down. And again, same arm, so just lift it up, drop your shoulder and bring it down. Once more, lift this arm, stretch, drop your shoulder and bring it down. Then the other side, lift it up, drop your shoulder and then bring it down. And again, at the same arm, lift up, relax your shoulder, and drop it down. And again, two more. Hold it, drop your shoulder, and bring it down. Once more, same arm, lift, drop your shoulder, and bring it down. And draw it into your spine, bring both arms up, and take them all the way up. Hold it. Drop your shoulders down and take your arms out and down. Take your shoulders round. And again, so bring both arms up, hold it and take them up. Relax your shoulders, stretch your arms out and bring them down. And take your shoulders round. So draw into your spine, keeping your arms down by your side, drop your head down. And then just circle it around. So take, take out the tension in your neck. So that people get, keep the shoulders hunched up, take it around the other side, and drop it down. So again, just circle it around, relax your shoulders. Take it all the way down, and around. Two more. Take it around this way. If it crunches in your neck, just relax. Drop your head down. And again, so breathing in, circle your head round. If you don't like circling your head round, you then you can just drop your head to one side and drop your head down and circle together. And take it the other way. So drop your head down, draw it into your spine, keeping your back straight, circle your head round, or just keep it to one side and then lift it up and take it together. Two more. Circle around, draw it into your spine, so keeping your back straight as you can. Keep your shoulders relaxed, all the tension comes across the top of your shoulders. Last time, circle around, breathe it in, and out. And relax, and bring your head up, draw it into your spine, arms down by your side, and just reach down. So just hold the stretch, the stretch is all down the side, and back up. And again, the other side, stretch it down, hold it, and back up. And again, the other side, so stretch it down, hold the stretch, and back up. And draw into your spine again, the other side, stretch it down, hold it, and keep your shoulders down on the other side, and back up. And again, so draw into your spine, just stretch down, pull the stretch, and back up. And again, draw into your spine, stretch down. The other side, keeping your shoulder relaxed. And back up. Once more, both sides. Draw into your spine, just stretch and down, hold it. And back up. Other side, stretch and down, hold it. And back up. And take the shoulder round. We're just going to do a half roll down. So small gap between your feet. Drop your arms down in front and just roll down. So if you've got problems with your back, just take it down so far. Hold it. And then you come back up. And take your shoulders round. I'm not going to roll all the way down, it's just halfway. So if you have problems with the bottom of your back, just take it halfway down. If you have any pain, then just stop, don't take it too far. Just hold it, keeping your arms down, swing your arms around, just circle them around. It takes out the tension in the top of your back and your shoulders. Circle it around, 
keep circling and hold it and slowly come back up to draw into the spine as you come up breathe it in and then take the shoulders round and again dropping your arms down drop, roll down halfway so don't go all the way down again if you have any pain in the bottom of your back just stop rolling down hold it relax your shoulders and again, circle your arms round. Circle your arms round, release the tension on the top of your back. Keep drawing into your spine. Couple more this way. Hold it. And circle the other way. Stretching through the top of your back. And hold it. And slowly roll up. We're keeping one arm down. Lift the other arm up. You're just keeping your back straight, so like, so just hold your back straight. We're not going to hyperextend yet. <laughs> and then bring it down. Shoulders relax, drop your head down, roll down again. Halfway, hold it. Step your arms around. Couple more. Hold it. And change directions. Relaxing through your shoulders and you top your back. Hold it. And slowly roll back up. Lift the other arm up. So just take it, keep your back straight, just stretch and stretch this all down your side. Bring your arm down again and drop your head down. So we'll do it once more halfway, rolling down, hold it, circle your arms round, couple more and hold it and circle your way. Relaxing your shoulders, couple more. Hold it. This time slowly roll up and bring your arms, both arms up. Stretch, hold it. And bring it down and drop your head down. So we're just going to roll down halfway again, roll down. This time just let your arms hang without circling around. And then we're going to roll back up, I'll just turn aside. And bring your arms up this time. So you lift them up, and then you're going to take it back slightly. Do your height right extend through your back, and bring it back up. Please straight again. And drop your arms down, and again, halfway, rolling down. Shoulders relaxed. Just hold it, just don't swing your arms, just hold the stretch. And slowly come back up. And lift your arms and again you want to hyper extend slightly you can pull on your back and just keep your back straight so just take it back and stretch it all the way down your back and bring your arms back up bring them around and drop your head down and again this, this time it's going to roll a little bit lower down a bit further bend your knees slightly just take it down a little bit further all the way down so you warm up your back hold it and again roll back up you're lifting both arms, you're not lifting your feet off the floor, just hold it in there, keep your back straight, or you can stretch back, hyperextend, feel the stretch down the bottom of your back. And bring your arms back up, out to the side, bring them down, and take your shoulders round. So just do a little waist twist, the usual one, hands one crossed over the other. Draw into your spine, hold it, and keeping your hips facing forward, just a little push to the right. Not too far, hold it. And back to centre, shoulders down. Breathe it in. And then push to the left, hold it. Come back to centre. And again, draw into your spine, deep breath in. Breathe out, push to the right, keeping the hips forward. Come back to centre, shoulders relaxed, breathe it in. And then push to the left. Come back to centre, chin jump. <laughs> shoulders down, jaw into the spine, deep breath in. Breathe out, push to the right, hips forward, hold it. And again, back to centre, shoulders relaxed, breathe it in. And then to the left, hold it. Relax your shoulders. Come back to centre again. Breathe it in. 
And then to the right, hold it. And back to centre. Draw into your spine last time. Breathe it in. Breathe out, push to the left, hold it. And back to centre. And relax. Bring your arms down. Take your shoulders round. And then stand behind your mat. So, to come down onto the mat, you're just going to drop your arms down, rolling down, and you're going to bend your knees. So, you're going to come down onto your hands, and then come down onto your mat without the full roll down. So, you're just going to come down onto your hands and knees, and stretch down through your arms. So you're just stretching down, child's pose, it's called, and just bring your head down as far as you can, hold it, and draw into your spine. <coughs> Stretch it into your lower back, all the way down from your shoulders. And stretch your arms out a bit further, so reach it, stretch it into your shoulders, hold it. And then we're going to come up. Onto your hands and knees. You're just going to hold it, keeping your back square. Draw into your spine. You're not going to lift anything up. You're just going to hold, stretch, breathe it in, and out. So keeping your back as still as you can. Draw into your spine, hold it, breathe it in, and out. So then, it's all the way down your spine. I'm going to stretch down again into the child's pose, hold it, and then bring one arm down to your side and bring your head down. So your head's up into the side, stretch right into your neck, top your shoulders, and then come up again, bring your arms back down, stretch down again, and change arms. Bring your arm down. You bring your head down, stretch it into the side, hold it. And relax, bring your arms back down, stretch down. And then you come up round onto your mat. Right, your mat, you're sitting down on the mat. People who have problems with sciatic care or low back pain, tight hamstrings can have problems with the back because with a tight hamstring. So to, to release the tension, use a towel or a block if you've got one. Nice to have. If you sit on the towel, it releases the tension from the top. It releases all the, the lift that you get. So you'll find that you can do a lot more. So you can stretch your legs out. You can either have your legs straight or you can bend your knees. So if you have any problems, you sit with your back straight. Just draw into your spine, hold it, keep your shoulders relaxed, the hands around your knees, draw into your spine, deep breath in, and breathe out, and drop your head down, and then just bring your hands around your knees, and go forward, that stretches into your back, top your shoulders, hold it, and then come back, back up, stretching out your back, and stretch your legs out. And again, if it pulls on your back, you can bend your knees slightly. So what you do, the hamstring straight. So if you have problems with sciatica, you do this one. So bring one foot across your knee. So you sit with your back straight. So if you have problems like sciatica pain in your back, then just keep your back straight and don't do anything else. Just take your arm across and stretch. Just hold it. If you haven't got sciatic pain, then you can bring your hand behind your back and you can turn and stretch. And it releases release tension down the back is back is fine. Hold it. But if it does pull on your back, then just sit straight. Stretch out, so stretch and through your shoulders. And then relax and change leg. And bring your foot behind your knee, keeping your back straight, stretching out your leg. Sit up straight, back straight. And then if you want, bring your hand behind your back, bring your arm across your knee and just stretch, look across your shoulder. Hold it. 
Hands again. So do one for both sides. Stretch it with the leg. When you foot the foot, you can do it as many as you like. So now you sit straight, back straight. Can you bring your hand across the leg? Turn the side behind you. You just stretch. Hold it for about 20 seconds or so. And then come up and change. And foot across. And then sit straight, back straight. Hold on your back, don't turn. Don't do any twisting. Hand behind your back. And just stretch. Look across your shoulder. Hold it. And relax and stretch your legs out. Bring your feet either side of your mat. Flex your feet and bend your knees again. Pulls on your back. Keep your knees bent. And bring your hands beside your head. So you can do the hard body waist twist. Draw into your spine. Breathe it in. And breathe out, twist the right. Don't cross, just hold it. And back to centre. Shoulders relax, breathe it in. And then to the left, hold it. And again, back to centre, breathe it in. And then to the right, and the elbows out, hold it. And back to centre, once more, breathe it in. And then to the left, hold it. And relax, bring your arms in, bring your legs in, bring your arms down, take your shoulders right. We come up the block of the toe. Just going to lie down on your back. Just hold them down. Arms down by your sides. So we're just going to do pelvic tilts. So keep your shoulders relaxed. Draw into your spine. Bring your fingertips behind your back so that your back's resting on your fingers. Oh, you push your back down. Draw into your spine, hold it. You flatten your back down and then arch up slightly. Then push down again. Draw into your spine and then arch up. This time push down. So you flatten your fingers down and then just relax now, arching up. So you're in the neutral spine. Slowly draw into your spine and bring your arms down by your side. So we're just going to do pelvic tilt. So you're in the neutral spine, small gap between your back and the floor. Take a deep breath in, push your back down. And breathe out, just arch up. And again, breathe in, push down. Breathe out, arch up. And again, two more, push down, breathe it in. And then arch up. Once more, breathe in, then push down. Breathe out, arch up, hold it. And just relax, your back in neutral spine, small gap between the back and the floor. Push them down through your arms, just lift up your back just slightly. So just lift your hips up so the top of your back stays on the mat. You're not coming up into the full shoulder bridge. Draw into your spine, just hold it. Breathe it in. And out. So holding the hold with keeps helps support the top of your back. Just draw into your spine, tighten up through your core, breathe it in. And out. Just pushing down through the top of your back. And relax, bring your back back down again, hips down on the floor. And again, draw into your spine. Just lifting up slightly, so just lift up to your lower back. Just lifting up slightly, hold it, not too far. Draw into your spine, breathe it in and out. You hold it for 20 30 seconds, breathe it in and out. Then roll back down, hold it and stretch one leg out. Draw into your spine, flex your foot and stretch it all the way down your side, breathe it in. And out, and bring your leg back in, and slide with the leg down. So you're just stretching one leg out at a time, flexing your foot, stretching all the way down the side. Breathe it in, and out, and bring your leg back up. So you're not lifting your arms into it, it's just your bottom of your back, 
Breathe in, stretch your leg out. You breathe out, push it down through your back, hold it. And then back in again, breathe it in. And then stretch out your legs. You just stretch them down, hold the stretch. And bend your knees. And roll onto your side. So roll onto your side, you can use your towel, put your head, and stretch your arms out. And bring your knees into the fetal position. So we're going to do the clam. So keeping your feet together, this helps to release tension in your lower back and your hips, your hip release. So you lift your knee, then lift it as far as you feel comfortable. You might just lift it a little bit, and you might lift it all the way up. And just hold it, and bring it back down. And draw it into your spine, and again, deep breath in. So lift your knee, high as you can. And then just hold it, so just do a level one, and we'll do this gently. And then bring your knee back down. Hold it. And again, bring it back up. Breathe it in. And then just hold it. And bring it back down. So keep your knees. Keep drawing into your spine. And again, lift your knee high as you can. Keep your feet together. Hold it. And bring it back down. And again, draw into your spine, breathe in, lift your knee, high as you can. And then hold it. And bring your knee back down. And stretch your legs out straight. Draw into your spine, deep breath in. And breathe out. And bring your knees back in again. Right, this one, this exercise is called open door release. So it releases, I'll just show you. you start off with your arms outstretched, and stretches all the way down your back. Draw into your spine. I'll show you first. You lift your arm up, and you take it over, and you just take your hips as far as you take it. You might want to get it to there, you might be able to take it all the way over, and turn your head to follow your arm. But don't take it too far if it starts to fall. And then you bring it back up and over and stretch. All right, so stretching your arms out to so use the pillow, towel for your head, don't go to sleep. <laughs> take a deep breath in, lift your arm, relax your shoulder, and take your head around, breathe, and then take your arm over and stretch. Hold it. Take it as far down as you can. You can hold it for eight to ten seconds. And then bring your arm back up again. Breathe it in. Relax your shoulder, take your arm over. Breathe out, hands together, stretch, hold it. You want to watch it this time again. Breathe in, lift your arm, take it up and over. Turn your head to follow your arm if you can. Breathe it out, just hold the stretch, holding it for eight to ten seconds. You can do them for as long as you want. And bring it back, breathe it in. And then take it over. Oh, hands together. We'll do two more hand lever tapers. Deep breath in, lift your arm, take it over. And breathe out. So just hold the stretch. And bring your arm back up again. Breathe it in. Hands out. Hold it. Once more, take your arm up. Relax your shoulder, breathe it in. And then as your head follows, just hold it. And bring your arm back up, breathe it in. And then bring your arms down, hold it. And then bring your hands in front and to the side and just push yourself up and bring yourself up. And stretch your legs out, and bend your knees, reaching down. And then change onto the other side. So if you want your side, just stretching your legs out. So bring your knees in front. <laughs> Go to sleep here, Tessa. <laughs> Chore into your spine. So we'll start off with the clamps. You can have your arm out stretched if you want. Feet together, draw into your spine. Breathe in. Lift your knee high as you can. You may just take it so far. Breathe out. Hold this, stretches into your hip. 
and bring your knee back down and get it. And out, hold it. And again, draw into your spine. Deep breath in, lift your knee. Take the high as you can. Breathe out, hold it. And bring it back down. Breathe it in. And out, hold it. And again, two more. Lift your knee high as you can, keeping your feet together. So it's all level one, basic fatigue. We'll add on next time. And bring your knee back down. No balance. And again, once more. Lift your knee, breathe it in. And then bring it back down. Then stretch your legs out straight, cushion down so it stretches in your lower back. You might feel a bit of tension if you do the bend your knees. And then bring your knees back up again. So in the fetal position and stretch your arms out. Hands together, palm on top of the palm. Draw into your spine. So lift, take a deep breath in, lift your arm, take it up, high as you can. And breathe out one side, will be tighter than the other. Jump deep, hold it. And bring your arm back up. Breathe it in. Relax your shoulder. And breathe out, bring your hands back together. Shoulders relax. Draw into your spine. And again, breathing in, lift your arm. Lift your shoulder, take your arm off your head. Breathe now, turn your head. Just take as far as you feel comfortable. Hold it. And bring your arm back up, breathe it in. And out, bring your hands together. Draw into your spine. So do two more. Deep breath in, lift your arm, relax your shoulder. Breathe out, take your head over oh, this one, I think it's great. <laughs> and bring your arm back up again. Breathe out. And out, hands together, shoulders relaxed. Once more, draw into your spine, deep breath in, lift your arm, lift your head, relax your shoulder, lift your head, so we turn your head. Breathe out, hold it. And lift your arm back up so you can hold it for longer. We're just going through a few. Breathe it in. And then hold it. And stretch your legs out straight again. Bring your arms in. <laughs> and bend your knees. Bring your hands in front. Come up. So you just push yourself up. And stretch your legs out straight. So, go back. Put the towel or you can use the block. If you find when you've got your legs out straight, your back straight, and just pull them on your back, then take the towel, anything that lifts you up, releases the tension. So you might find it easier. Stretch your legs out straight, flex your feet, bring your feet either side of your mat. You keep your knees bent if you want. So you bring your hands into the middle, draw into your spine. And stretch down. So you push it down, feel your back through your arms, stretch into your back. So take as far down as you can. Hold it. And then come back up. And flex your feet back straight. Draw into your spine, breathe it in. Bite your toes and breathe out, push down. Stretch and down, hold it. And stretch into your back of your legs as well. Hold the stretch. And come back up. And again, flex your feet, draw into your spine, you breathe it in. Reach your toes, breathe out, stretch down as far as you can, hold it. And come back up. And your legs when you put it in, take your shoulders right. And then come over, back onto your mat, get rid of the towel. So come back into the child's pose. Stretching down, hold it, and again, this down. So, before you had one arm down by your side, drop your head down. You can bring both arms down if you want, bring your head down onto your back, stretch it into your back, just hold the stretch, relax your shoulders, or you can just have one arm down, or you can have, just have your hands in front of each other. Hold it. And push your arms forward, stretch it. And then come down onto your front. Just going to do a full stretch. 
Arms out straight, legs out straight. Draw into the spine, deep breath in and breathe out. And bring your arms in, hands, I just, hands in line. So we're not going to lift all the way up, we're just going to do basic back extension. Pushing down through your arms, you're just going to lift up slightly, hold it, it stretches across your shoulders so you're not doing the full down to your lower back. Because if you, if you have no back problems, then doing full arm can hurt. You're just stretching across your chest, top your shoulders, hold it. And relax them down. And again, draw into your spine. Deep breath in. Breathe out. Just lift up so you're keeping everything. Just keep your shoulders relaxed. Don't push all the way up. So you're focusing on the top of your back. And again, last time, come down. Draw into the spine, breathing in. Breathe out, slowly push up. So you need to strengthen the top of your back to support the bottom of your back. So when some people come all the way up and it starts to pull your lower back, you need to stop going so high. Just hold it. And your arms come down. And bring your arms in. Again, stretching down through the arms. Draw into your spine, breathe it in, and out. And come up, and bring your hands into your knees. So we're going to slowly come up again, so you bend your knees, if you have problems with the whole wheel, bend your knees, and then just slowly come up. Take your shoulders round. And stand off your mat. Pat your knees, let's put this back. We're going to do a few 25 minutes, 45 minutes. Sorry, Sheila, if you're there. <laughs> so, we're going to do a back swoop. So, draw into your spine, and you bring your arms forward, over, and then you bring your arms up and behind. Draw into your spine, so you bring your arms forward, stretch to the top of your back, breathe in, and breathe out, bring your arms up and around. Hold it. And again, two more, breathe in, bring them forward, breathe in, and out, bring them up and around. So you're stretching all the way through your back. And again, once more, bring them forward, breathe in, and out, bring them arms around, place them on your lower back, hold it, and draw into your spine, drop your arms down, shoulders relaxed, deep breath in. And breathe out. And bring your arms up. Hold it. Get the stretch to the side. And back up. Breathe it in. And then to the left. And again, breathe it in. And then to the right. And back up, breathe in. And then to the left. And back up. And bring your arms round. Take your shoulders round. Draw into your spine. Take your shoulders the other way. Breathe it in. And out. And again the other way. Good one. And relax. Draw in tight up. Take it down the side. Pull up. On the other side. And relax. Take your shoulder round. And give yourself a tap. <laughs> so I'll have a one. Just a few different ones. Stop recording. Mm -hmm.